Hey guys, it's Will from Tested. It's Adam from Tested. We're in the cave. We are. It's been a while. It has been a while, and it's been a while since we promised we would do the thing we're about to yeah, do. Yeah, I think that might have even been last year. It seems like it was a really long time ago. Um, but we're here, we have the microscope. You can see the case behind us, it's all weathered. And it has been emptied because it's all set up here. Yeah, and, and we're going to do the thing that we promised where we look at a bunch of stuff under the microscope. Yeah, um, and we've started out with Lincoln's eyeball. Yeah, this is a $5 bill, this real close. This is a $5 bill, and you can see how actually incredibly precise the engraving is. This is and an I, intaglio process? Is, is that it? It's, yeah. Um, yeah, it's not, it's, it's, it's cloth, right? It's effectively cotton, yes. Yeah. It has got a, a high cotton content. So every color on the bill is meant to be hard to reproduce for counterfeiters. And you know what, it doesn't, never works, right? Well, it's, you know... Oh, like, there's a oh, USA. Oh, look at how... Look at the tiny, tiny USA. Just to be clear, that's inside the big 20 in the lower left-hand corner of a $20 bill. Yes. Um, and it is a the tiniest USA. Let us go to double this power. Erink. That is um, maybe as thick as a paper match. As a, uh, like, from U to A is about maybe two paper matches of thickness. The, the thin side. Yeah, yeah, that seems about right. Yeah. yeah it's a good, good point of reference. It's exactly. About, I'd say that's about 80 thou. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so one of the things you learn, this is a dissecting scope. Um, look at that. Look at the graphite there. That looks so cool. Um, um, I, this hasn't been sharpened in a long time, as you can tell by the kind of raw edges of the, of the wood there. Yeah. Wow. Um, but we, I have a knife here, so I was going to take a swipe out of it and see. Oh, see yeah. Do, do, do. Yeah, let's totally do that. There we go. There it is. Very oh, shiny. and uh, yeah, that's it. Turn it just a little bit. Yeah, look at that. You can see the tears and the burrs where the where the um, where the graphite just kind of peeled away. I'm gonna go to double this resolution here. Look, oh. at, look at the striations there. That is super cool. It's really that hard is to all hold from it your still. knife. And look how porous the wood looks. I could yeah. do this all day long. Um, you can see the individual cells on the wood. Yeah, you totally can. Wait, stop moving. Sorry. There we go. I'm moving fractions of an inch, Adam. <laughs> it's too much, Scotty. I, that's really awesome. Pencil, we've seen. You want to look at the eraser end while we're going? I'm going to come no, old. No, I want to look at an iPhone. You want to look at an iPhone? Yeah. Okay. Of course I do. That's it. So, you, so the back of the iPhone, this is this is the part that's um, kind of etched a little bit so that the... the um, the back's a little bit matte. The aluminum right. on the back is a little bit matte. It's not really brushed. It is. It's like it's just like little tiny surface uh, roughenings. And you um, see as we move across it, it's pretty incredibly uniform. It almost looks like noise. Yeah. It almost looks like like Perlin noise or something like that. Um, so you can see there's a notch in. I want to say the left side of my lens. Yeah. Um, that makes me take. There's always a little little dot on the camera. Now you can actually see lens artifacts of like the multiple elements that make up the ridiculously tiny camera. Yeah, it is a very small camera. There's a good shot right there. It's insane. Um, and you can see, like, you can even see, like, finger oil and stuff uh -huh. like that around the edges. There's little motes of dust, the whole thing. I think we should flip it over and look at the screen, though. Okay, let's do that. There we go. Ooh, ooh yeah. Let me find... I don't even know. I think that's guacamole. Right. So right now, I'm at the highest resolution we can see this at, and you can sort of see... The rectangular yeah. pixel arrangement. So kill the, kill the light all the way and see what happens. I think we'll be maybe a little bit better off. Uh, the thing that happens here is you're seeing the, the arrangement of subpixels on the screen. Yep. So each subpixel has a fixed number of individual colors, red, green, blue. And there's a different arrangement on different phones. So some phones, you, you may have heard of like pentile displays. Some phones have a different arrangement of those pixels. And that's what, uh, that you can see that reflected here. Now, unfortunately, we can't get as highly magnified as we can when we use the objective lenses right. on, the, on the scope. But I, I mean, I think this is super cool, and this is the kind of thing I can look at all day. And what you and I are seeing right now is actually the focusing artifact, because Norm has the... Uh, right, right, that's has the peaking. The, has the peaking on. One of the other things that I always like to do with microscopes is look at different types of, of print, because the, you can very quickly see the different qualities of print when you look at them under a microscope. Okay. We're starting out with kind of crappy printing in a just weekly issue of a comic book. Classically cla crappy printing. Yeah, look at that. So look, you can actually see the blue and the red and the yellow and how they overlap to make the colors. And I think what we're probably looking at, if I had to guess, is the is maybe Jean Grey's ass. For lack of <laughs> a better term. It's, I think it's, it's Let's right. Let's look in, where, just where, for scale. Let's get yeah. to a word. Um, okay. That's oh, here. Oh, there we go. There we go. 
So see, you can see it looks like white on the paper, but there's even a little bit of yellow and red on the background of the of the speech bubble. Right. Um, and and this is so this is the lowest color printing that I, I think most people regularly encounter. Yes, exactly. Um, whether you read comic books or not. Okay, so next I'm going to go to uh, this is a trade, a hardback trade, and I haven't actually looked at this. This is just stuff we had laying around the office. Uh, this is a little bit better printing quality, I would hope. Um, Actually, even though it's a much glossier, the pixel size isn't of the of the individual printing pixels isn't that much tighter on this. It, it's a little bit tighter. It's denser. I, yeah, it's you can see that it's denser. Exactly. Um, there's more overlap on the on the individual blobs of ink. But yeah, so that's a trade. This is a glossy American magazine. As we used to be in the magazine business, you you learn that there's a difference between American and European magazines. What is the difference? Well, American magazines have to be cheaper because they use lighter paper because they have to ship them. There we go. About the same as about a comic book. About the same. Book. There's a little more overlap. Yeah. Um, and you can tell that the thing that changes is if you look at the little dots, instead of being spaced from the gap between each dot and the next one next to it, there's a higher dots per inch, and that's mm -hmm. you know that's why this looks better. Yeah. Um, All right. What's okay. Next? next is a European magazine, which is much higher quality. Feel the difference. Oh no, I. Yeah. So that, that this feels like cardboard almost. It's so it stiff. It does. All right. And this is floppy. Even though it's a nice American magazine. Let's take a look here. America. And this is also a magazine about expensive watches, so it's going to be, you know, they're going <laughs> right. to they're going to class it up. Horologico. So look at how finely how precise the dots are on this. Yeah. It's almost like a hexagonal grid. It is. Um, a part of that is that we're looking at something that's probably printed like a photograph of something that's printed. Mhm. Mm but yeah. Um, I mean, you can see it's it's a much. It just looks totally different. Yeah, it's and I, I'm going to flip back to the comic book, or actually, we'll just cut back so that people can see yeah. it side by side. But it, it is literally like blobs blasted on a page versus this incredibly precise, like super super uh, um, high resolution. Print. Exactly. All right, let's get to some food. Well, that looks juicy. It looks like a red ocean. It looks yeah. It's, this is this is less cool than I expected. I'm <laughs> it's bummed out. Much less cool than yeah. I expected. All right. Um, you want to cut it and see what it looks like from the side? Sure. I bet it's going to be just as uninteresting. Probably, but you never know. Sometimes tissues arrange in interesting ways in different layers. And this will see some striations, I think. All right. Yeah. So you can't really see the striations. Wah, wah, wah. I'm a little bummed. Oh, yeah. And the edge is actually pretty cool. Um, what happens if you zoom in at the... This is zoomed in. Oh, this is zoomed in. Yeah. Oh, you're soaking in it. No, that's good. You can see striation there. Where? Right there. I'll pull it. Pull it down. Yeah. There we go. Right there. Yeah. There you go. So the muscles, the mu the muscles tissues, all arranged in in flat layers, which is you know why meat, why why you cut meat one way and not the other along the grain um, against the grain against the grains. Ah, oh, nifty. Oh no, this looks like this looks like the surface of a planet in the Star Trek movie or something, right? <laughs> like you could zoom this out, apply a texture, put some clouds over, it and say, oh yeah, we're in planet. It's an M five planet around the right. uh, around Sirius B. Wow. So those are oh, little so I'm hairs. Zoomed in. Let's zoom oh, that's out. Okay. Oh, this is great. Never gonna look at a kiwi again. Do you eat the skin on a kiwi or do you peel it? I peel it. Oh, look at look at my disgusting. Oh, hold on, okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Sorry, I have to just derail this and take yeah, a no. look at my dis at my. You need a manicure, man. Now, I I don't get manicures because I don't want to subject a manicurist to my to my finger it's, or toenails. Yeah, I I understand. These are also. I've been on summer vacation. These, this is clean. Yeah, I, I'm a little. I was worried. You have a couple of good cuts, though. We'll look at oh, them a little that? bit. Oh, gross. Oh yeah. Oh, that's not that bad. It's pretty. So that's almost healed. That is. Um, what was the wound? Do you remember? That was. So yeah, I saw Guillermo del Toro this weekend, and I brought him a piece of etched brass for a project I've been working on for him. Just a personal thing. And as I was reaching in my bag to pull out this piece of etched brass, it sliced right into my finger. <laughs> So that cut right there that you're looking at, that is about, what is that? It's about th three eighths of an inch across. Here, let's. Courtesy of Guillermo del Toro. Yes. Oh, yummy. Oh, that's delicious. This is much more interesting than the meat. You need to clean it out. It looks like there's some dirt up there in the top that edge is, of that guy. That's what my immune system's for. That's why I'm a hearty individual. So while you were inspecting your, your flesh wounds, I sliced a kiwi. I sliced a kiwi. Um, let's see if we. Oh, can... wow. On is that? So this is one of those things. Like with this kind of scope, you can you can look down into stuff that's translucent, right? And see and focus in at different layers, yeah, which is kind of cool, I think. 
Um, I didn't realize that those little seeds had tails on them. I didn't either until I saw that. Okay, let's get a good shot of that. One, yeah. There it is right there. There it is. I want to show something. Oh, okay. oh this is cool. Okay, so I want to try this. Um, Don't take your pants off, Adam. Right? I am. Not, yeah, we're gonna put. My, <laughs> um, I have really, really messed up fingerprints, especially on my right middle finger. Do you want to put your fingerprints on the internet? Oh, um, wow, nice. Yeah. That was a hell of a cut. Yeah, yeah. So this is a double cut. This actually was. I cut myself with a paring knife, and then I reached into the dishwasher and pulled out. And got a second cut through the band-aid across the first one. So you can see the yeah, there's X a, it's of like the a, cut right across the middle it's there. It's like a Dan Brown plot point. <laughs> His fingerprints yeah. were marred. That's a pretty good one, too. That is a really good one. You can really see how clearly the scar just totally ravaged the actual fingerprint. Life finds a way. That makes you much easier to find. You know you know the old story about the guys filing off their fingerprints? Right, it makes them easier Made to locate. Made it much easier to figure out whose fingerprint was whose. All right. Wow, wow, your flesh is all like chicken kind of yellow. What is What's that? that? Oh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a little worried about my skin tone more than anything. Yeah, that's really, it's really hideous. You look like one yellow. of those babies from the Guillermo del Toro film. Oh, okay, not going to do the cuticles. I can't even see my, my screen. Oh, there it is. It's no good. It's totally boring. All right, what's next? Um, let's look at a picture. So this was a printed, this is printed by, I think, Shutterfly or something. All oh, right. It's all tilted at a little bit of an angle, so there'll be some depth problems, but... This is of the inside of a nuclear reactor. I just wanted to see what the pixels, what the subpixels okay, looked like on so this. I'm going to. People are going to eat us alive for calling them pixels. They're dots. We know. Dots. We know they're dots. dots. Okay. But the purpose of language is communication. As long as everyone knows what we're saying, exactly. we're fulfilling our duty. Okay, so this is a oh. flower that I stole off of a bouquet you at stole Whole Stole it? I, well, I bought some other stuff. So, oh, so here, let's um, figure. You let's, may just hold it. Oh, veins. Flower veins. Hold on. Yeah, you're you're there. Yeah, that that's we're seeing circulatory system inside the flower. This is less cool than I was expecting. This is also one of the defining phrases of science. This is less cool than I thought it would be. Yeah, <laughs> says, says Marie Curie right before she uh, irradiates yes, herself. Boy, this beam makes my stomach warm. These are the weirdest flowers they had at Whole Foods. The the UPC says Ow. it's two stems. They're pointy. Be careful. Yeah, uh, two stems of orangium. They, they specifically, they clearly say to the animal kingdom, stay the hell away from me. Yeah, I, you know, if you want, you can take these home and give them to your wife when we're done. What would you mean if you gave these I, to someone? I wouldn't dare hazard this. <laughs> um, right. We cheated and it's already on, on it's deck already here. It's already on the deck here. That looks so cool. I think we're at the high magnification. Oh, uh, no, we're, we're at low. low. Yeah. You can bring so it in we closer. Get high. Crank up, I'll crank up the heat a little bit. Yeah. Oh, dude. That is pretty awesome. Um, so, I mean, you, you just see the structure of the flowers a lot better. Yeah, that is gorgeous. I bet the stem looks pretty good on this too. It's all nice and, and variegated. And So the thing that's neat about this scope is that it's loose, that it's on the arm. Yeah. So you can kind of wave around and look at stuff that's not necessarily on the stage. Exactly. Oh, can we look at your beard? You want to? Yeah, let's this totally a do terrible that. Terrible idea. Oh, we got it. <laughs> we got it. Oh, wow. Wow, oh, man, that is far out. That is like, Super coarse. Yeah, it's a beard. So, your hair isn't one specific color. It's like nine colors. I think everybody's hair is like that. Isn't yeah. It? I don't oh, know. Oh, it's moving really grossly as you talk. It's alive. Hold on. Wow. This is just like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. <laughs> Where's Rick Moranis? That is so cool. You want to see teeth? They're really oh, yellow. Oh, yeah. Gross. They are yellow. I know. I drink coffee. <laughs> I am seeing... Ah! Oh, wow. That's far out. This is like a Star Trek villain. <laughs> oh, it's all moving and everything. Oh, this is, this is a, this is, I don't see what we could do that would be better than this. I can't wait to show this to my mom. <laughs> I oh, there's the mustache. I? Oh, super Blade Runner. Oh, I, I not some... fish scale, snake scale. That is far out, man. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Oh, wow, okay. I'm gonna do something really cool here. Turn it down, and your iris opens. I don't think it's gonna turn open. it up. Oh my god! Oh, you're <laughs> such a jerk. I can see your iris moving, dude. Are you getting the different layers? Uh huh. Multi layer. Yeah. That is so cool. You gotta stop closing your eyes. I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm just, do you, don't you have the clockwork orange things here? Yeah. I. I. You know, I've tried those on once, and they're so horrible. 
So I, I guess we're not going to top that. We're not going to top no. that. I think it's as good a place to wrap. This has been um, up close and personal. Yeah, you learn more <laughs> about me than you ever thought you would. Um, we have a ton of great stuff on Tested pretty much all the time. Absolutely. So if this is the first time you're seeing us, please come check out the channel, check out the site. Check um, out the, uh, the podcast on iTunes. Exactly. We have a detailed one-day build of you making this case for this microscope, or weathering the uh, case weathering for the microscope, case, actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then there's also some other stuff, Blade Runner stuff, memorabilia from different movies, props that you've built and collected. Absolutely. A ton of great stuff on Tested. Uh, please come back soon. See you guys. Bye. They're really oh, yellow. Yeah. Gross. They are yellow. I know, I drink coffee. <laughs> I am seeing... Ah! Oh, wow. That's far out. This is like a Star Trek villain.